We already have Sis Connie on Zoom. Y'all come on in. Good evening. Hi, Sis Kamika. Send a hug for love. God bless. God bless. Kamika. Y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Just bless it evening to you all. Sister Cheryl, Sister Law is in. God bless you. Evangelist is in the house. God bless you. Come on in. Like, share, tag, comment. Hey, Evangelist. We are going back into catching up on our kingdom series. How it is that God wants us to represent Him on this earth realm. Oh, this sounds a little too loud. Y'all come on in. Most important, um, important message that the king is giving us as kingdom and kingdom living is on how to forgive, learning ah, to forgive. Come on in, come on in, come on in. This is Connie, and she so faithfully do. She's going to cover all bases. She has pivoted to Facebook as well. Hi, this is Connie again. <laughs> Bertha Joshua, God bless you, Sister Bertha. Hi, Sister Anna. Hi, Sister Bertha. Y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share as you're coming all, in. Uh, Sister Joanna Jones, God bless you. So we we'll continue to lift you up in prayers as well. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Marcia Williams, God bless Hi, you. Hi, Sister Williams. Sister Ruth Harris. Did you say Ruth? God bless you. <laughs> Hi, this Ruth. He's, he's catching up with Ruth. Good evening, big sister. That's great. Leslie. Uh, Hi, T-Nanny. T-Nanny is in the house. This is Leslie. Y'all come bless on you. in. Mm. As well. Hi, sis Mary Ann. Send you hugs and you. love, too. Certainly on you. Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Sister Marie Hi, Sister War. Sister Jamia on God our Zoom. You. She's joining us on Zoom. Good evening again Good evening, to Jamia. you. Y'all come on in, come on in, come on in. Take a we seat. We got a topic enjoy. that should... Um, really resonate with a lot of us and we are asking you all to really just be honest Thank to be you. open and to really be about not just hearing it because we've touched upon this topic um, before mm -hmm. but really be about making it applicable all right doing Ma the work manisha wanted to spray just almost spray pepper, pepper spray on me, on me i just was hollering at her saying hello how you doing Malik and Manisha. Yeah, hi, Malik and uh, Manisha. Hi, Miss Marie. Singing, sending you hugs and um, condolences as well to you. Sister Maxine as well, and just all of Bertha, all of you all who are on. We just continue to pray with you all as we uh, celebrate. Oh yes. Uh, life of. This uh, is a celebration. Uh, uh, of our very own Stella, we just thank God for her. She will be chiming in right now, yeah. And her steadfast mm -hmm. faith. Oh my Certainly God! Was. What a beautiful example of how to yes. leave desert and depart and be with, with our Heavenly Father. We certainly will miss her. Uh, but we know um, she'll never ever be forgotten. Just she left such a, 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 a imprint and. A, a, Upon us at the uh, home, and thank you. Yeah, come on in, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. If we lost a little bit, I think the phone had ringed, and uh, somebody was trying to call my phone. I think they're good. You still on? Or you uh, let's see. 
probably need to put it on the airplane mode when we're going on. Yeah, I wonder if I have it on if it don't That's hurt it. anything else. I've seen the hearts and I've seen people come in. But they're still see. on. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I, still my eyes is not. Pastor, uh, I had Teddy. to go in and go out, man. Hi, Pastor uh, Matisse. Y'all come on in. Like, comment, and share. We thought we had lost you all because there was a call and I don't have coming no, through. I don't so, have no but, airplane mode. But so you all are still there. So, Y'all come on in. Come on in. Hi, Sis Valentine. Like, comment, and share as you're coming in. Hi, Sister Stella Charles. Thank you for coming back on in, Sister Talara. God bless you. God bless you. Brother still shot. Real. If you, if you got in. a still shot, turn it off and uh, turn your system off and go back to it, and it and you'll, you'll, you'll connect. Someone was trying Be to call there, my baby. phone. Hello, Talara says she had a still shot. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Like, comment, and share. Share as you're Brother coming Anthony, in. Brother Anthony, God bless you. Stella Charles. God bless you, uh, Sister Stella Charles. Hello, good evening. Hi, Sis uh, Dolores Ivy. Certainly, we pray in with you as well. And um, Big Brother Israel. Uh, Anthony Diorio. Myra, better than bless Hi, Sis Myra. Y'all come on in. Like, how many coming in? God bless you. If you want to get your Bibles and devices together, we're coming out of Matthews, the 18th chapter. We're going to cover verses 21 through 35. And the topic on tonight is a, going to be a familiar topic, but we really want you all to uh, really be transparent and open about what you may be personally dealing with and how it may be a struggle for you in whatever area of your life. And that's dealing with forgiveness. Praise the Lord. Listen, for those of you who have a still shot, what happened, my phone had... Uh uh, went out because someone was trying to call me. I don't have it in airplane mode. But if you go out and you go back in, you, 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 you'll catch up. So, this Hi, Sis Jory Duncan. Hi, Sis Mamba. Ooh. That's MBO. <laughs> Hi, Brother James Peters. God bless you. Our dear Brother sister, Sis James. Janice Geetson. Y'all come on in, like, comment, and share as you're coming in. And if you want to get your Bibles together, we're coming out of Matthews, the 18th chapter, verses 21 through 35 is what we're going to attempt to cover on tonight. And of course, you know, we're on this journey of kingdom living, and this is lesson three, learning to forgive. And learning to forgive. And for those of you who've been with us in lesson one, two, uh, please put uh, put the theme up. Put the theme up, and I will, and, and no, uh, you can go over your notes. Put your theme up. I'll recognize you. Whoever put it up first on Sunday, we will uh, recognize you on Sunday. So please put the the two theme up from last uh, last week. We didn't have our lesson because of the seven last words from the cross from our young men who really did an excellent job sharing the word of amen, God. Amen. But uh, I want you to go back and write those last two theme as we're dealing with kingdom living. And of course, we started off with. Uh, two particular topics and today mm. we're going to deal with lesson three of course lesson number three so what was lesson one and or two if y'all can put them up there just to kind of give you a test to see if y'all really want to see where y'all at to resonate and a lot of time what happened is we sometimes retaining. we don't forget it because if we go back over it then you go back and it, and it jolts your it, it, it comes back to your remembrance mm -hmm. nothing can come to your remembrance if you never was taught anything if you mm -hmm. never sat down uh, 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 and listen to the word of God and so mm -hmm. you may not retain it at that moment but at the moment when you need it because you put it in you uh, of course and there's a stirring up in it then, then you, you'll, you'll come back so yeah. Somebody, what has okay, been a Sister topic Myra, that we've dealt with you got thus it. far? Sister Myra said, what kind and of heart, heart do you have? have? All right, Sister Myra. Come on, yes. come on. What kind of heart that do you have? That was lesson one. What's that lesson one, right? Yes, yeah, yeah that's lesson, lesson one. one. Uh-huh. All right, Sister Myra, I got that. I need I need one more now. Matter of fact, if we don't get the second one, I'm not gonna, we're not going to even teach tonight. We're going to call it benediction. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend yeah. Raymond, 
Uh, Raymond is in and the house. Juanita. God bless you. Y'all come on in, uh, like, comment, and, and share. Raymond and God yes. bless you, Reverend Raymond. Uh, Sister Lysandra Bradley, yes. God bless you. God uh, bless you. To you too, Sister uh, Lysandra. Seeing you again, and she was on her seven March on that. God last bless night. you, cuz. God bless you all, and uh, of course, we just thank y'all for y'all resolve, y'all. Y'all just oh, yes. love family wise. It's just a, a, a blessing, and just um, allowing us to. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, to serve and to, to pastor, and uh, um, I cannot even thank you enough, and uh, thank you all enough to um, to give us a space to be there, and uh, mm -hmm. we appreciate that. And I can't I can't even tell you what that really meant uh, 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 from a from a leader, you know, because mm -hmm. of time a lot of time pastors are distant, we so busy, but but y'all allow us to come in and serve, and it was just a, it was just a blessing. I can't. Amen. Words Amen. cannot even tell you how I feel, and uh, I just thank God All right. know, uh, to to just be there to to glean and to learn so much from um, from my from my Monday morning quarterback. Mm -hmm. Amen. Blooming where you're planted. Who put that out oh, there? Oh, they are on it. Who, who, who went out with that one there? <laughs> Let's see who came through first. I'll see Maxine Lawless, Deborah let's Dennis. See who came first. Oh, let me go let's back to Deborah Dennis, Mary Ann Winchester. Mary Ann Winchester. Okay, so I'm going got that one. Let's see, Deborah. Mary Ann was ahead of that one. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I can't go no further. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, mm. yeah. So, it's a good segue of, of, of oh. what kind of heart do you have blooming where you're planted? And now we're going to deal with tonight learning to forgive. Praise the Lord. And this topic, uh, we hope that you will allow it to prompt you to really be honest, open, transparent, and be proactive to correct course. Praise the Lord. To clean up, so, if you will. So you learning like, to forgive. So going going back to those themes, uh, what kind of heart I have? I gotta make sure I have uh, I have to have a, a, a mm. heart that is uh, uh, ready to receive yeah. a cultivated mm -hmm. heart that is ready to receive the word of God, where I can begin to grow. And when I'm growing, God put me in an area where I'm I'm, I'm 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 planted, and I have to bloom where I'm planted. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, the kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven and so God has given us earth and so wherever we are at we ought to be able to shift the atmosphere. We have to bloom where we are planted and so sometime of course and in, in tonight we're talking about learning to forgive. Mm -hmm. Learning learning to forgive and of course that's a, that has to be something that we have to, uh, uh, it's a pattern we have to do. And so if I'm learning to forgive it's not just uh, uh, not just okay that Person, time, but, yeah. but it might be the same person God mm. uh, uh, the enemy used and God allowed to see whether or not where you are at mm -hmm. uh, of course and uh, there are some areas that we got to be very have. concerned yes. about uh, especially when it comes down to representing God because mm -hmm. we represent him more and more especially as we learn to forgive because God was and is a forgiving God. Mm -hmm. If He had not forgiven us, we would My all God. be on our way. We had our, we would have, we had, we would have our one-way ticket, and that's to hell. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, my God! So we hope with some of the nuggets that we are shared tonight that you will really just be proactive. You know, as I oftentimes say, you can be on the word all day long, but if you're not taking that word and making it applicable. Really being intentional about striving to follow, to course correct. You know, as we oftentimes say, none of us are perfect. We all are work in progress. And we all strive in, in this journey to get things right. If you're serious, it should be your daily strife to get it right, to strive to do right. And I know sometimes things can be difficult because... I know when you're dealing with difficult people and difficult situations, it can be challenging to have an about face. But with God, we can do all things. And if God said it is possible, it's possible. And he's not asking us to do no more than what he himself has done. I don't want to get a little like we started the lesson already, but just to kind of Set the stage, you know. <laughs> I, I, think, uh, I think the lesson is very uh, is 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 one of the most um, prominent things that Jesus taught, and so there's a reason for it, and it's so important that as ambassadors and, and emissaries and uh, ministers and mm -hmm. uh, reconciliation that we would follow uh, the divine order 
of our commander in chief, that is God. God ain't sent us into this earth Amen. to do what we want. We have to make sure that we are, we serve in a risen Savior, and uh, His ways are not our ways, nor His thoughts are our thoughts. And so uh, we can't get caught up in the world ways of thinking that we have to do what everybody else do. God mm. says He give us a certain amount of time, and once we finish with that time, we're gonna have to give an account of our stewardship. And so we can't let ourselves begin to get into these self-imposed prison because our heart. Somebody, because of a hurt uh, or whatever. We're in the earth. We're human beings, and that's going to happen. Amen. Let's move. <laughs> but then how do you respond? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. I think we're at time. Good, blessed, glorious evening to each and every one of you all. Again, we're so humbly grateful that you and you and you and you take time out of your busy schedule to join in with us as you so faithfully do on a weekly basis as we come to you with God's word. And as you know, we come in on behalf of the Emmanuel Baptist Church where we love the Lord, we love each other, and we love the lost. We are growing and flowing in love. And we are a church that is Christ-centered, Bible-based, and family-focused. And we hope that you are feeling the love that we strive to exude, not just in the four walls of the sanctuary, but in our home, in our community, on our job, wherever we are. We are ambassadors of Christ, and we should be letting our light shine. So that men will see our good works and want to glorify him in heaven. And as you all know, we've been on this journey to Christ kingdom living. Journey to kingdom living. And we are on lesson three tonight, which is entitled, Learning to Forgive. Learning to Forgive. We're going to cover Matthew's the 18th chapter. Verses 21 through 35, but for the sake of time, I'm going to open up with verses 21 and 22. Again, that's Matthew's, the 18th chapter, verses 21 to 22. And it reads, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times seven. Amen. I just read Matthew 18 chapter verses 21 and 22. May the Lord add the blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his holy word. And again, the theme for less, the title for lesson three is learning to forgive. Learning to forgive. Again, these lessons may be repetitious of sorts under the different series that we've been doing but they are necessary they are necessary to be repetitious because repetition bring about what pastor hallelujah repetition will bring about revelation revelation so before we really dive hallelujah. in to the lesson we're going to ask that the pastor opens up with prayer let us pray father we love you and honor you we give you glory and praise for this wonderful day god thank you god for loving us lord god in spite of us looking oh, beyond yes. all our faults and seeing all our needs god thank you father for your thank mercy you, for your jesus. grace yes. god thank you for the salvation thank that you, has been offered jesus. through your son jesus yes, christ god. who lord god you gave and you give us life so that we may have life and have it more abundantly and now father god as we come into your presence on tonight lord god we come lord god to break the bread oh, of life yes. because your word said we can't live by bread alone Hallelujah. but every word that, that proceeds proceed. out of the mouth of god yes. and god we are your mouthpiece lord god we surrender our all to you our spirit our soul yes. our body. Body, yes. Lord God, you are the pot and we are the clay. We are the work of your hand. Mold Hallelujah. us, mold us, and fill us up with your Holy Spirit. So, God, that as we would speak on tonight and as we would share it, we do it in the oracles of God. And as we minister, we do it in the ability yes, that Jesus. you and you alone yes. is glorified. I pray, God, in the name of in Jesus, name that you would Jesus. anoint every ears, every heart, yes, and every mind, every, every Lord. ears yes, are attentive, every heart, Lord God, yes, are receptive, yes. and every mind, Lord God, are alert. Now, God, we lift this word word up yes, to you. You Jesus. say you were hasting it. Lord I'll God, you said it would not return oh, void. We yes. believe God is going to go into cultivated heart yes. where it may produce a I'll harvest 30, 60, and 100 fold. fold. And God, we're so mindful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and the honor. We ask it all in the mighty, marvelous, magnificent name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody just type in, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Learning to forgive. Hallelujah. Just on the note, just the beginning of it, I want to just say tonight, of course, uh, uh, 
um, my Monday morning quarterback, our 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 friend, our yes. member, our sister, our mother, uh, of course, would have been with us yes, she would on, have on been. tonight. Yes, uh, she didn't miss a, 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 a Sunday. Mm -hmm. She didn't miss a, a, a Thursday. She didn't miss a Monday, and so uh, um, you know, a heart uh, 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 certainly goes out to the family, yes. um, um, into our family. Yes. Uh, Sister Stella was a very uh, loving, caring, and generous person, and certainly um, uh, she is going to be missed. Yes. Uh, uh, we miss her, but uh, we know uh, uh, she yes. have left an imprint yes. and a stain yes. on us that. Uh, you know, it never will be a raise. So God bless the family. And just God bless you all. Uh, and we ask that you continue to lift the family up in prayer. Tonight we're dealing with learning uh, to forgive. Of course, we're dealing with the kingdom uh, living. And of course, we want to continue to understand what's the kingdom to rule, yes. to reign, uh, to have authority, to govern, to control uh, the earth realm. God says we lost it in, in, in Genesis, but Jesus went and got it back for us at Calvary. When we place our faith in oh, him, yeah. we are his sons and his daughters. God raised, he saved us and he raised us, set us down mm -hmm. with him in heavenly places. But God says, no, I don't want you to stay in heaven. I'm putting you into the earth. And I want you to go into the earth. And I want you to, that my will be done yes. in earth as it, it is, is in, the, in heaven. The kingdom come that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And so God says, I want you to go into the earth and to have dominion and authority to govern. That's what Adam lost. He didn't lose religion. He lost mm -hmm. dominion. Mm -hmm. And because we're looking at the earth the way it is and all the things that has happened is because the church haven't taken their rightful place. They haven't exercised the authority. And so we know that we told you, Joshua, every place the sole of our feet thread upon, God says he had given it. And so wherever we are on this earth, mm -hmm. sometimes we try to pray God and God to deliver us from something. But Come God on. says, no, I put you in something Therefore. so you can bring in the kingdom, yes. of course, and so you can't bring in the kingdom if your heart ain't right. Oh, you can't bring Come in the on. kingdom <laughs> if you're in a place yes. and you're not blooming where you're planted. Right. And so now, here's one of the most prominent themes that 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 Jesus taught while he was on earth, and of course, the apostle Paul in Ephesians and Hebrew, uh, uh, he, he's teaching on forgiveness. Yeah, why he's teaching on forgiveness because. One of the most important things that, that Jesus knows that we need, we cannot do without it. We can't get anywhere without forgiveness. Yes. And so he taught in the model prayer. When he taught us to pray, he put emphasis on mm, forgiveness. forgiveness. Of yeah. course, when he cursed the tree, uh, 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 the fig tree, he came back and he says, uh, he start dealing with forgiveness because forgive unforgiveness will short, short circuit the power Come of God. On, yes. And Jesus' first word mm -hmm. at Calvary Cross, mm -hmm. and when he began to utter his seven Come words, on. he said, Father, forgive, forgive them, them for, for they know not what, what they, they do. do. So when he's talking about learning to forgive, mm -hmm. this is not a suggestion. It is not a recommendation. Yes. It's a requirement. Come on. I'm going to say it again. It's not a suggestion. Mm -hmm. It is not a recommendation. It's Forgiveness a requirement. is a requirement. Come on now. I'm going to give you these four as we get ready to go into the parable. Four things that I, I pull out of and I Google up and, and we'll say one. When we refuse to forgive, oh, it's like on. burning a bridge that we uh -huh. ourselves going to have to cross. Come on. So now <laughs> I can't cross it because I've yeah. burned the bridge. The second thing is. When we refuse to forgive, when mm -hmm. we, we we go around unforgiving, mm -hmm. it's like drinking poison yourself mm -hmm. and you waiting for somebody else to die in the next room. My God. The only person is dying because it's you. Mm -hmm. When we refuse to forgive, yes. forgiveness will free us. Yes. Unforgiveness will keep us in bondage. Come on. So because even though you are hurt, so that person that hurt mm -hmm. you, now you are allowing that person to hurt you again. Yes. And then finally, and I want to put these out now, finally, that when we have bitterness mm -hmm. and unforgiveness in our heart, it blocked the flow of Come God. Yes. I was sharing this with my daughter. She said a lot of people are dying of heart attack and 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 and, 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 and because of depression mm -hmm. and distress because they don't want to they don't want to forgive. It blocks the flow of God Come on. and it hinders our prayer life. So when we're trying to pray and we wonder why our prayer is not being answered, is because you still trying to hold on oh and you God. don't realize how much that person is hurting you all over mm. again. I wanted to put those four out as we go into our lesson. Amen, amen. Anything and so then the say? question is, what are you choosing? Are you choosing to be free? Or are you choosing to be in bondage? Mm. 
I know I'm choosing free all day long, 24-7. And we have to be intentional. We're not saying that, you know, th that's going to come easy because you deal with difficult situations and different challenges in life, different circumstances that will uh, project that type of uh, uh, reaction of sorts. Mm -hmm. But the Word of God said it is possible because with God, all, all things, things are possible. Are possible. So if we're following his word and we want to be duteous to his word, we have to strive to, to be intentional to be about obeying his word. Praise the Lord. And his word said it is possible to forgive. Mm -hmm. And in forgiving, we're not, got, we're not saying that you got to sell yourself short or you compromising your integrity of sorts. You just just do it with us, say the Lord. Have a forgiving heart. Be free from holding yourself hostage. You, 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 didn't, you didn't put your own self in jail. Prison. You're putting your and, own and that's self the whole, in jail. And that's the crux of this mm -hmm. whole lesson we're getting ready to go through. But mm -hmm. Sister Brown, I want to just emphasize on the word choosing. Ah, uh, it's a you choice. Know, now, when we when we made a choice to follow Christ, Come on. when we made a choice to be his ambassador yes. or his emissary, Come on. when we understand my kingdom assignment on this earth, it's not my choice. Come it's on. not my will. Come on. It is God's mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. And so God placed us into the earth so we can bring in the kingdom. Yes. And so when we run around here can't forgive, then oh that's, my not, God. that's not who that's not let me God. just let me just show you in mm -hmm. heaven. In heaven, mm -hmm. if you can't get along if, if, if you can't get along with Clarissa on earth, Therefore. if Clarissa <laughs> make it to heaven, what you gonna do? You're going to say, oh, I don't want to be around her because I can't stay in her. My God. No. no that's thing. not the way it works. That's not how it's going to be. He says, thy kingdom, thy will be done, thy kingdom come on earth and as it is in, in heaven. heaven. So whatever is happening in heaven ought to be in earth. Yes. I brought you in heaven, so now I brought you into the earth. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I have given you power yes. to do Triple. it. Yes. You got to learn how to get out of the way and let God, let God. have his way. Too come often on. we get mm -hmm. in the way. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. too often we get in the way yes. and we can't really, we can't, we can't, can't allow flourish. God's kingdom. Because it's not bloom. even, you can't do mm -hmm. that on your own. Charles mm -hmm. Brown can't do absolutely no, nothing apart from no. himself. Uh, and so this is the lesson. It really already been uh, rolled out. We're going to just go through it. Uh, verse 21, uh, Sister Brown. So again, Matthew's, uh, the 18th chapter, beginning at verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, mm. how often? Shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? That's the question that was asked. So, so, till seven times. Mm, so, so, so he's kind of, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. He, he answered, he, mm -hmm. he goes to Christ yeah. and he makes an inquiry. <laughs> yeah. He said, God, that makes you a question. Mm -hmm. How often? Now, Peter must have been going through some stuff. Yeah. Peter, were, uh, Peter, mm -hmm. people, must, they were messing with Peter. Yes. And so Peter, Peter said, well, the, re, the rabbis, mm -hmm. they will forgive three times. Yeah. But he says, you know what? Peter said, a halting, seven mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. He not only asked the question, inquired, but he answered the question. Mm -hmm. He said about seven times. Peter yes. said, listen, I'm going to give them... I'm going to give them twice as much plus mm -hmm. one more. Mm -hmm. Peter was like, I'm being very gracious. I'm down. being mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. generous. Yes. And here it is. We have to learn how to forgive. And Sister Brown, you just said, mm -hmm. you don't keep count. You can't keep count. <laughs> you you can't sit there and keep count. Because look what, look what verse 22 said. Jesus said unto him, I said not unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times seven. Hallelujah. So now Jesus. Well, Y'all calculating in your mind. Mm, he says, I'm going to give you some instruction. Yes. Here is my instruction. Mm -hmm. I want you to say it not seven times because you thought it was perfect after seven. Mm -hmm. I'm finished. He thought, no, he says 70 times seven. Mm -hmm. Now y'all know what? Y'all y'all add that up and tell me what he got. Put it on the screen. Multiply that. Multiply it. So now he literally saying that if I have to forgive that person mm -hmm. that many times, mm -hmm. I literally have to make a habit of that person uh, forgiving him. Mm -hmm. And literally, I can't keep a record of it. I have no limit yeah. on it that no matter how many times that person hurt me, come on. and that person come and ask for forgiveness, yes. then because 
on earth realm, mm -hmm. I am bringing in God's kingdom, yes. just like that thief on the cross Come said, on. Lord, remember mm -hmm. me when you get into that kingdom. Jesus didn't say, man, you messed up. Mm -hmm. Man, you, I, 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 you. <laughs> no, he said, today that I shall be with. And guess what? Mm -hmm. So when somebody come to you today, yeah. you don't tell them come back tomorrow. Come you ought to forgive them when? My today. God, today. So he you. says you have to do it. There's no limit. There's no limit. You don't keep no records mm -hmm. of, of right and wrong. Mm -hmm. That's what you call love, love yes. and forgiveness. Because I'm representing the kingdom, I have the spirit of God, the love of God, mm -hmm. the character of God. Love don't keep records of wrong, right and wrong. Amen, amen. You want so me that's the illustration. Yeah. And then we're going to go, go, go to, the, to the, um, parable? Yeah, the illustration, and we'll move into the parable. And then, so what you're saying? Go, go, read the parable. Verse, Verse 23, therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. I'm going to let you read all the parable, then I'm going to let you read from, from there on, on and explain it. I'm going to let you deal with the rest of them. We kind of did. Yeah. When, he, when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him 10,000 talents. Mm. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him saying, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay thee all. Praise the Lord. So so he's talking about the kingdom. The kingdom mm -hmm. of God calls uh, his servant. A servant owed him uh, a, a debt. A debt that he literally could not pay. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what the king did was he grabbed him he takes him him all his land his his wife and his children mm -hmm. and he puts him in prison until the debt could be paid mm -hmm. so in other words what he owed them the, the what he owed he could not pay yeah and so all he can do is just fall on his face and ask mercy yeah. until he uh, until he paid and pay. so what he did was mm -hmm. uh he did he he went on and and, and he forgive him of that debt yeah. Because he know he couldn't pay it. Pay it. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is, when we think about it, uh, we have to place ourselves there. Mm -hmm. Because we all owe a debt. Come on. The wages of our sin is death. Yeah. The wages, mm -hmm. because of our sin, because mm -hmm. we missed the mark, because right. we didn't measure up. Amen. We were supposed to die. Ah, yeah. Come and on. guess what? Because of God's mercy, mm -hmm. God withheld what we deserve. And by his grace, he give us what we didn't oh, do or deserve. And he did it in his love. Yes. That he did what? Come he said, on. I'm going to relieve you. Yeah. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to let you go. Yeah. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. When I know I'm a Christian mm. and I know I've been forgiven, mm -hmm. you got to know that once we talk about I'm a child of the living God, mm -hmm. then how do you respond to other people who owe you an insubmit, uh, um, uh, or haven't showed you mercy or haven't been forgiven, forgiving to you. When they don't owe as much as mm -hmm. you owe to, to God, Amen. how do you respond? And that's what we had in Amen. the parable. So here it is. This parable reveals three things to remember when it comes time to forgive. Mm. Number one, calculate, calculate what God has given you. Take it calculate. Consider. Reflect on how often God has forgiven you? And that's covering, uh, again, Matthew 18, chapter verses 27 through 30. You want me to kind yeah, of read those? Yeah, yeah, did you go to yeah. mm -hmm. 27, 30? Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out and mm. found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him mm. and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me, pay that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, yep. Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he could pay the death. Now he owed what that servant owed that individual who had been forgiven mm -hmm. was an so it wasn't that much. Mm -mm. He was able to he it was about a, to it was a three to. month mm -hmm. three months uh a hundred dinners I think uh he was able to pay that mm -hmm. but he said listen have mercy upon me 
But uh, uh, this person who had been forgiven, he would not. And so the first thing he said, we have to calculate what God has forgiven us for. Because there's no way in comparison what God has given, paid for, uh, mm -hmm. the price he paid for us cannot be compared to what somebody have done to My us. God. And so what happened now, his fellow servant come and he, he's a servant. Mm -hmm. He's a Christian. Mm -hmm. He's a brother who come to him and 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 and, mm -hmm. and you can't grab him by the throat mm -hmm. and you cast him in prison. Mm -hmm. But actually, who it is in prison? Mm -hmm. Because when you're thinking that I'm not going, I'm a, I'm not going to buy, I'm not inviting her to the crawfish bar. <laughs> I'm not inviting him to the barbecue. Then, the I'm, a, I'm not gonna speak to, to my him. I'm not gonna, and yeah. so you just literally, you mm -hmm. just ignore that person. Mm -hmm. You cast them off, mm -hmm. and if they don't ever pay me, then I ain't got nothing to say to mm -hmm. them. That's mm -hmm. what no, they've they, they been not telling me nothing. Right. Then what? Mm -hmm. Who you think is in prison? Mm -hmm. You gotta you release dig in that hole and be deeper free and deeper for yourself because you're the one actually withdrawing from just living life mm -hmm. and being free to live life because you constantly what. Plotting how not to involve this person. Plotting how not how, plotting how to just ignore and avoid and, this person. And so, so the, the so, thing, mm -hmm. the thing is, don't ever forget. Calculate mm -hmm. what God has forgiven and what God has done for us. Amen. And you can't never miss that. So when I'm this man, I'm just mm -hmm. angry because mm -hmm. it, wait a minute, God. So loved the world, he gave. His only begotten And his son gave his life. Mm -hmm. Because what Jesus did at Calvary, that should have been me. Amen. Amen. It should have been you. Come on. It should, but, but look what happened. He did it just for us. Just for us. He died so we could be saved. Now he saved us so we can go out and, 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 and connect a world mm -hmm. that's disconnected. And now because they didn't throw a stone at you, they lied on Christ. Mm -hmm. Judah, Judah, Judah sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. Peter said, I don't even know him. Mm, and dark. the disciple deserted him. Yes. But guess what? He said, Father, forgive them. But they know not what they do. <laughs> so like the servant in the parable, we all have a sin debt. Mm. We cannot possibly repay. repay. Mm. A sin debt. Hashtag that. Sin debt. We all have that debt. We can't possibly repay. There's no way. Thankfully, our forgiveness is not based on the amount of our sin, but on the limitless amount of God's mercy and love. And how does Ephesians 2 and 4 express this fact? And so Ephesians 2 and 4 said, But God who is rich in mercy uh -huh. for his great love, wherein he loved us. We were poor, but God was rich in his mercy. God was rich in withholding mm -hmm. that which we deserve in, in, through his grace. Uh, 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 he forgave us. That was his great love mm -hmm. wherein he loved us. He loved us when we was at our worst. God yes. was at his best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he, he continues <laughs> to just be faithful to his promises to us. When we pridefully minimize our own sin debt, mm. which has been forgiven, we will have a hard time forgiving others. People who feel they have been forgiven a great sin debt are very generous in extending their forgiveness to others. Hmm. However, this was not the case with this servant. He goes out to find a fellow servant who owes him a hundred denarios or a hundred pence. Remember, a denarius or a penny was a day's wage for common laborers. So the second servant owes about three months wages, as three you months. indicated. Mm -hmm. A very small amount compared to what the first servant has had been forgiven uh uh yet the first servant grabs the second servant and begins to choke him demanding to be paid what he was owed where was the mercy mm. you might be quick to condemn the first servant but you may be choking someone mm. oh, oh, come on praise the lord right now not physically but in, but in your heart you have your hands around his or her neck demanding payment of some debt this is what the bible calls bitterness mm. so who is it that you're harboring in your heart being bitter to war is the same analogy in the spiritual realm who are you choking who are you grabbing by the neck and choking them because you just refuse to 
forgive them. You are constantly making the choice to harbor ill will towards someone who may have done you wrong. Praise the Lord. And because you you stuck in your feelings, you allow yourself to be bitter, to be in bondage, and to not be free. Praise the Lord. So what happened is, you see, and I think we sing it, uh, we say that this is not how the story ends. Mm -hmm. Because there's always some other things that is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because your reaction uh, uh, and your response to uh, other people and how you deal with other people, even though you may be choking them mm -hmm. uh, in the spiritual Come realm, on. you're choking them in your Who heart. You but what you don't honest. realize that while you're in choking them, you got to know, I told you before, you're drinking poison. Uh. And you waiting for them to die, and you're the one dying. Uh -oh. You 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 didn't burn down the bridge. You are not free. Mm. You are cut off the flow of God because of bitterness and unforgiveness. My and God. now all of a sudden your prayers are being hindered. Mm. Let's move on. <laughs> amen, amen. Bitterness is first in the list because everything that follows is the fruit of that horrible sin which results from refusing to forgive. The second servant falls down and pleads, have mm. patience with me, I will pay you. This is the same plea with which the first servant begged. However, the first servant refuses and has the second servant put in prison until he can pay the debt. You may have someone in prison where? Of your heart mm. right now. Do you know how to tell if this is true? Every time you think about that person oh or persons, it is. you get a bad mood or relive the hurt. How do you get over that? Mm. To learn to forgive, just calculate the many times God has forgiven you. And when you do that self-assessment to realize all the things that you have done, that sin debt that you still have, how many times God has shown you mercy, you're going to be more apt to then want to forgive others that have done you wrong or have uh, wronged you in some way, form, or fashion. And let me just pause right here and just call for prayer. Lord, if I got anybody in my heart mm. that has caused me to be bitter, mm -hmm. if I'm choking somebody, Lord God, Come on. In, in, the, in the spirit, Lord God, and I'm hindering myself, God, forgive me. God, I release that individual. I forgive him just as you've forgiven me. Yeah. And God, even though I can't do it in my own, but God, you've sent me into this earth realm. Lord God, you equip me with everything that I have. I can boldly declare that Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. me. So God, I thank him for the freedom of letting other people go and allow the Holy Spirit to flow in my life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. So here it is. When you have calculated what God has forgiven you of, now you want to consider the consequences of refusing to forgive. Consequences. And of course, that's covering verses still in chapter 18, but verse covering 31. verses 31 through 35. And I want you to read 31, 35 again. This is all, uh, this is, this is the, this is the sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. Here's the, here's, here's what you get. This is your harvest of, 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 of a bitter heart. You spoil in the grace of God. So 31, so when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Now, now I just want to pause on 31. She's going to do all the way to 34, uh, 33, 32 to 35. Mm -hmm. But it says the fellow servant saw what was done. Mm -hmm, the other. And so they had went to God in prayer. Yeah. They said, on. I can't believe what he just this did. individual. <laughs> Who say they're Christian, yeah. but they can't forgive My God. that other fellow mm. who God, you don't forgive him of everything. Yeah. And so what they did was, they didn't go and talk about what Clarissa did, uh -oh. but they went and talked about what Charles did. Uh -huh. Charles wouldn't let it go. And mm -hmm. they went to God and said, God, you don't forgive him of all that. And, and look, look at him. He, he running around mm -hmm. here. Uh, choking somebody in the spirit, then put somebody in prison. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they put that man in prison for for three month ways. It's a man three he could have paid it. Amen. But God, he owed you more than a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And you forgive him. Yeah. And that's what happened. 
Hallelujah. People are watching us. Yeah. If we representing the king. Come on, say if that. If we represent the king, uh -huh. then you, you don't represent him more than when you really forgive. When oh, you release that. I don't have God. absolutely nobody in my heart because yes. I don't want to have a uh, uh, congested mm -hmm. heart I failure like, oh, where the power of the Holy now. Spirit yes. can't have his work in my life. Oh, my God, my God. Wow. <laughs> that should have helped somebody just now. Release it. Should you... Out to have congested heart failure, all because you in your in the family, spirit now. This is not spirit, physical. In the spirit, realm. all because you want to stay stagnated in your feelings against someone who may have hurt you, and oftentimes it be for frivolous things. Well, sometimes they take Toby, they and and they're, even, if, if, even if they even mm -hmm. if even if Toby go, let him go. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? You 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 live your life. I guarantee you, Toby gonna wish he would have came back. He would have stayed where he was. Because every time the, the prodigal son thought the grass was green on the other side, but then when the money became funny and everything else, mm -hmm. you were like, oh my God, what in the world did I do? <laughs> Come on, just, just listen. If, 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 if they're gone, God said, I freed you because I have something better for you. Ah, that's it. Verse 32, then his Lord after that had called him said unto him, O thou wicked servant. Wicked. How? I forgave thee all that debt because thou des desi uh, desirest me. Shouldest not thou also Come on. have had compassion, compassion on the fellow servant even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth mm. and delivered him to the tormentors. The jealous. Till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly father do also unto you. If ye from, from your, your hearts. Heart, your heart. Forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Wow. Do you? I mean that, that parable just clearly Come stated. On. It's very. Uh, That's uh, what the uh, book said. Uh, That's uh, not what uh, we it, said. It's, it's right there very yes. plain. When you don't forgive in your heart, Free the father yourself. cannot Let forgive go. you. Yes. Uh, he, you end up Where being in prison in your go. own self. Yes. Uh, you know, he said, shouldn't you, you show a passion? Mm. Shouldn't you show a compassion mm. like I've done for you? Yeah. He called him, oh, how you, how you didn't go become a Christian Come on. to being wicked? Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness, Unforgiveness. Is, is, is the same line with wicked. And wicked is evil. And when you put a D mm -hmm. on it, it's Come a on. devil. Come on. And so <laughs> what you're actually doing now, mm -hmm. you're not representing the king. No, you're not. When you are not forgiven, yeah. you represent the devil. My God, my God. I'm going to let God. you read the rest of the Bible. I'm finished. <laughs> and you are torturing yourself with bitterness. Bitter tormentors. Poison. Toxicity. Unnecessarily. Because that's a choice you're making. No matter how in the uh, carnal realm you're thinking, oh, they did me wrong and I just can't. No. Oh. In, in the spiritual realm, true Christ, we can do all things that gives us the strength. But you have to be intentional about wanting to correct course, about wanting to get in spiritual alignment, about really wanting to be free. Just be free to live, to prosper, to bloom where you're planted, to have that cultivating heart. Again, none of us are perfect, but we striving for perfection. We are a work in progress, but you gotta, you gotta do the work. Hallelujah. You gotta do the work. You just can't stand there and just figure God, okay, no, no. God, you can, faith without work is dead, and God requires, as the pastor indicated at the beginning, he requires this of us. If we want to be in right standing with him, if we are truly desiring to be ambassadors for Christ, this is what we have to do. We can't have it both ways. We mm. can't we can't make God a mockery. We can't we, we can't be in church all holy, lifting up hands, praising God, and we showing bitterness and animosity toward our fellow man. And that's not to say you got to be weak toward that person. That's not to say you got to let a person take advantage of you. We're not saying that. But do your part to free yourself so that to let your light shine. You never know what impact you will make because here again, we are about kingdom building. Oh, so you never know what impact you're making when you are really sure yourself to be what God requires of us, to, be, to help that person, to help that person. And then vice versa, if you are the perpetrator, in like manner. Choose to do the right thing. Choose to live in freedom. Choose to live uh, according 
to God's will and plan for your life. So, so one scripture as we close uh, today, one scripture I'm going to give you all homework to do, and that's out of James 2 and 13. James 2 mm -hmm. and 13. You mm -hmm. want to read that uh, uh, particular passage of scripture, uh, and it tells you all exactly when we show judgment without mercy, uh, mm -hmm. he that show it, uh, judgment without mercy, uh, 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 he that show it judgment without mercy, that show it no mercy, mm -hmm. uh, and mercy rejoice over mercy. He shall have judgment. I'm sorry, I'm reading it wrong. He shall have judgment without mercy who shows no mercy. You will be judged who don't show mercy. Mm. And mercy triumph. It try it wins over judgment. Come Why? On. We winners because of the fact that God didn't judge us and we ought to not be judging others. Mm -hmm. God didn't place us on this earth to be judges. God placed us in this earth to represent the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus is saying to us tonight, to us, to us, because all of us, we're striving. We're work in progress. When you're going to forgive, forgive from your heart. Be, be, be sincere. Be authentic. Be intentional. And we're not saying this is going to happen overnight, but you got to make the effort. You got to put forth the effort to walk in realness, to walk in trueness to God's word. Be free. You know, get away from the the, uh, 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 the corruption. Stop drinking the poison. And really be free to live, to bloom as God has purposed each and every one of us. And the only way to be effective in doing that and want it to be effective in this Christian walk for kingdom living, changing your mindset, all of those things, we have to, ha and to have that cultivating heart, we have to be about forgiving and forgiving from the heart letting the, that person those individuals out of the prison of your heart praise the lord beautiful lesson again uh, um, uh, but this is uh, one of the most again prominent lessons that jesus is teaching into the mm -hmm. earth because what we need more than anything else we don't need a cadillac we don't mm -hmm. need a we don't need cash we don't need yeah. credit we don't we need to be forgiven and then and of course, all of those things and are so temporal. God says that's your assignment on this earth realm uh you don't need a big church mm -hmm. you need to go out and win souls yes. of course and souls that are disconnected of course and if you're going to stay disconnected from them how are they going to get connected mm -hmm. and of course uh, all those different examples and those different quotes we had i think that's a lot uh, for you to digest and think about uh, mm -hmm. if there's anybody that 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 has become toxicity yeah. in your own heart and you thought you were hurting them mm -hmm. you, you giving them yourself. you giving them power to hurt mm -hmm. you all over oh my again. god so uh um, so everybody take a deep breath <laughs> everybody take in. it all in exhale and inhale we and are really inhale, do some exhale. self reflection we're gonna we're gonna breathe mm -hmm. yeah. really do some self reflection to see where you need to course correct so that you can be free let yourself out of your self-imposed prison because it's a self-imposed prison that you have put yourself out when you are choosing, choosing, we can't say it enough, you are making a choice to be in bondage, to be bitter, to be toxic, to be all of those things because of what? You're refusing to forgive. You're refusing to let go. You're refusing to let go. And guess what? Let God. Have his way in your life, through your life. But it comes through that, by having that cultivating heart so that you can really flourish in this Christian journey. Of course, in Philippians 4.13, that's something that we really uh, have quoted, but that's something that we have to be. For I can, I can, mm -hmm. I, can, yeah. I, can I, I can, I can, I can, we can, can. Personal. we yeah. can, yeah. we can, we can do what? All things. things. What? We can do what? All, all things. things. All mean all. All, things. all in the mm -hmm. Greek, all yes. in the Hebrew, all in Latin, mm -hmm. it means all mean all. Mm -hmm. We can do all things through Christ. Yeah. Greater is he who's in us than he, he that's in the world. world. The same spirit that raised Christ up dwelleth mm -hmm. in us. Yeah. I can do all, all things, things through Christ. Christ who strengthened me yeah. because Christ has risen from the dead. How many of y'all know we can rise above oh my the, God. Uh, uh, that, that, that unforgiving spirit mm -hmm. and live the victorious life that Christ has given us mm -hmm. to his 
power mm -hmm. of the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Listen, we don't need we don't need yes. to be tortured. Mm -hmm. You're in prison, mm -hmm. you're tortured. Mm -hmm. He delivered them to the jailers until all the debt be paid. And guess what? The debt we owe God, mm -hmm. we can't pay him. Mm -hmm. So you don't make so you might well let it go. Let it go. Release be and be free. Yeah, be free. Be free tonight. Be free tonight. We hope we this lesson has been it's so much more we can really dive into and, and, and just expound on just from this topic because we know this is something that a lot of us deal with on a constant basis because we allow flesh to get in uh distract us from our very uh purpose mm -hmm. to be effective in our ministry and so we have to be mindful uh we have to have discernment about those things that would try to come in and uh, penetrate and perpetrate you know Satan is busy He's going to be faithful to the things that he said he's going to be about doing. We have to be just that vigilant to not allow him to come in, to seep in, to then distract us from being all that God wants us to be. And much of that comes because what? We're harboring bitterness in our heart against each other. For oftentimes, frivolous things. Things that just don't even make sense. But of course, that's that's the that's the job of the devil. He wants to come and conquer and divide. But even though he has power, God is all powerful. So we say unto you all tonight: Don't just hear this word. Really do your self reflection, do your self assessment, and start making those being purposeful and intentional about correcting course about anything or anyone that you know that you need to work at or work on. Start striving to do the work. Don't, don't get stuck in, oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, I got time. Oh, I'm waiting on this. No. You be purposeful. You be intentional. You make the step to correct course so that you can be free. You can be free. You're not living your best blessed life. Because you've allowed yourself to be in the bondage of unforgiveness. We hope y'all have been blessed. We can go on and on and on. Praise the Lord. Uh, of course, uh, um, Again, uh, this Saturday, yeah. we're not going to have Sunday school on the go. Uh, yeah. Sunday school in Louisville, on Sunday Sabbath. School. Uh, mm -hmm. We are planning on uh, uh, having do some cleanup service. day in our community, community at uh, City Hall. At uh, We'll be meeting at 8 o'clock. Clean mm -hmm. the boot. Of course, this is a, a thing that they've been doing across... Uh, Louisiana and the uh, city and in the parish. So uh, we're doing it at, uh, on the city uh, this week. So if y'all want to join so with us, please come, come out. out. Even adults. Uh, uh, at we 8 o'clock as them. we go from 8, 8.30 to uh, 11.30. 11 yeah. So again, uh, our youth uh, uh, will take over on Sunday uh, service. Come on out and support the youth. Support our, support our youth. Yeah, They're on fire. They're, They're on, on fire. 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 We're coming so with please, it. <laughs> please come on out and, 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 and uh, um, um, encourage them. Them and really show them, and, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Put them on the uh, mm -hmm. put them on the pedestal. Yes. We want we want the enemy to know that you don't have all of our kids. Yes. And you know, one can chase a thousand, and so we can begin to start putting all them together. We can begin to start pulling oh, down tearing down strongholds. some strongholds, and that's what we need to be working on: tearing down those strongholds. Let us continue to keep. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the uh, Johnson family, the Wright the family. Various, oh, Let yes. us continue oh, to pray yes. for Most them. Keep yes. them in our prayer. prayer Joanna prayer, prayer. Jones, we pray with you and yeah, pray for you. We continue help. to pray for yeah. all who are, who are uh, dealing with sickness and leading. Mm -hmm. Let us pray for Brother Larry Dawson. Yeah. Just everybody. Yes. Uh, so uh, care of Sister loved ones. Uh, Hollins and Henry yes. Hollins. And of uh, course, yes. just all, we just want to continue to pray for Sister Eva Valentine. Oh, Everyone, yes. let's just mm -hmm. continue to keep them in our heart and in our prayer. And let's continue to pray one for another. Mm -hmm. Free at last, free at last. Thank, Thank God, God Almighty. Almighty. We Be are free, free at last. last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> no longer bound, no more chain yeah, holding, holding me. me. My uh, soul, yes. And ain't that a blessing? Oh. Hallelujah. I'm free. Father, we love you and honor you. We give you glory and praise again for a wonderful lesson. God, thank you for your Holy Spirit, the teacher, Lord God, who teaches us all things and bring all things back into our remembrance. God, we thank you for your word. God, we realize that God, that, that God, we didn't speak on, 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 of our own thing, but we spoke your word, oh, Lord God. Yes. I pray you, your Lord word Jesus. truly become life, Lord Please, God, Lord that Jesus. it will find a place in our yes. heart, Lord God, for those of us who are holding on and harboring unforgiveness 
and dealing with bitterness and anger oh, and resentment yes, and malice and clamor. Go. Lord yes. God, I pray that they will let all of that yes, go, Lord God. Jesus. God, we pray that God, we plead Make the blood of right, Jesus Lord. over that life, God. Yes. We pray now that the Holy Spirit, Lord I God, agree. will begin to take over, Lord God, that they begin to walk in, Lord yes. God, the authority yes. that yes. you have yes. given them, Lord God, and that they, Lord God, again, understand forgiveness is a learned pattern because oh, yes. sometimes the same person might hurt them over and over again, but God, we pray that they would not allow that person, Lord God, mm. to, to have power mm. over their life, Lord God, by harboring unforgiveness. God, we pray that they would let it go, and God, we pray now that you oh, begin yes. to move into Thanks, their life, Lord, Lord God, so that they can represent the oh, King, yes. Lord God, upon this earth, be an ambassador for you. God, we thank you for the victory that thank you've given you, us Lord through Jesus. Christ. We thank you for every family. Thank we you, plead Lord. the blood of thank Jesus you. over thank every you, family yes. tonight. Yes. Lord God, we continue to pray for our the right family, yes, the Johnson yes, family. Yes, we just pray for yes, all Lord families Jesus. who are mourning and dealing oh, with yes. bereavement Thank right you, now. Lord. God, we know you're a comforter. Yes, Console Jesus. them, Lord God, and console them, Thank Lord you, God. Lord Throw Jesus. your loving arms around them. Wipe the tears from, from their, their eyes. eyes, God. Give them beautiful answers and joy for oh, morning. Yes. Come in a praise for a spirit of heaviness. Let them know, God, your anger is just for but one oh, moment. Yes. But your favor is life weeping. Man, do it for a night, but we know joy, joy. coming in the morning. God bless Bless Sister Joanna Jones. We thank you for her consistency and yes. her persistence, Lord God, of being on the line. God, we pray that the Holy Spirit would just touch her. Uh, God, thank you for Pastor Nathaniel Baptiste, yes. Lord God. Be no yes. iron, sharpen iron. Yes. So a Praise man God. should sharpen yes. the countenance of his friend. Thank him for sharpening yes. me, Lord God. And we pray that we have said something may sharpen oh, him. Yes. Again, God, we thank you for every one of us. God, Hallelujah. bless us individually, yes, bless God. us collectively, and bless us all. It is in the mighty, marvelous, magnificent name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, now your assignment is to go and do the work. You've heard the word. Now do the work. Start striving. Do your self assessment. Do your self reflection to see where you need to correct course. Where you need to start really freeing yourself from the bitterness Hallelujah. of unforgiveness. Yes. Not that you got to be trashed yes. on or, or taken advantage of. But just be free to do the will of God and walk in his authentic will of showing his love. Love, love covers a multitude of sin. Hallelujah. So let's be about doing And love that. will never ever fail. Come on, love. come on. Hallelujah. Know we this. love y'all. We, we mean love it. Y'all. We mean it. And y'all can do something <laughs> about it. Come on, show us some love. Come Hallelujah. on. Love it up on the on. love it up on the line. I need to see some love. What is they're that? They're showing That's it, baby. They're showing uh, it. They're okay. showing uh, it. That's uh, okay. They're showing it, baby. They're showing it. They're okay. With come it. with it. Come with it. I need y'all to come with it big. Show me some real love. Yes. Y'all be blessed. Thank you all for joining us on our Zoom platform. Love you all. God bless you all. God bless, bless you. you all. Brother Lester, we see you. Brother, sis uh, Jamia, we see you. Sis Connie, as always, back and forth. Some of these others I don't recognize, but thank you all. Y'all be blessed. Love you all. Hope you've been blessed. Take the medicine. It's gonna it's gonna do you good. It was some it was mine was some little tough medicine tonight, but it's gonna do you good. It's gonna mean you well. God we bless y'all. Enjoy work. y'all the rest of the night. And uh, of course I'll see y'all on Saturday, those who come in with us. And I can't wait to see y'all on Sunday morning. Amen. I'm the pillow Bless you all. Y'all have a good night.